Now the night I was moved, it was about two o'clock in the morning. Light was streaming in to the cell from the day room. First thing I notice is it's a two-man cell. I'm thinking that's an improvement. I see my cellmate to sleep on the top bunk. I'm wondering why he's up there because where I just come from, people fight over the bottom bunk. So I walk in the cell. I'm thinking something's not quite right. I sense movement on the walls. So I put my face right up to the wall. It's covered in these guys. The cell's absolutely infested with cockroaches. I got used to the violence by now. Trying to get to sleep with these crawling on me gave me a nervous breakdown. I had to get put on medication. In maximum security, you're locked in the cell at 8 o'clock at night. 10 o'clock is what's called light cell. It's like the cockroaches know exactly when the lights are about to go out. They line up in the cracks in the walls doing this movement with their antennae sticking out. As soon as the lights go out, they just flood the room. Now you've got a choice, you can wrap a sheet around you so you look like the mummy. And it does keep them off you, but it traps the desert heat to your body, drenches you in sweat. And like I said earlier, you've got these skin infections and bed sores that are bleeding and itching. It aggravates that condition. So you just end up throwing the sheet off you and letting them crawl on you. Now they don't bite, they start out coming on your feet, they tickle your limbs, they try and get in your ears to eat your earwax, it's like honey to them. Is anyone in here asthmatic? You got, you got a group of asthmatics at the front. Okay, <laughs> check this story out. <laughs> I had a neighbour in maximum security who was asthmatic. He wakes up one morning, he's out of breath, grabs his inhaler, takes a blast, there's a cockroach in it. It gets stuck inside him, he's trying to throw it up, he throws up his stomach contents and he can't get it out, it's stuck inside him. Now even in the daytime, there were so many cockroaches, the fellas would be doing cockroach races on the day room tables, gambling Snickers bars on the winner. And first thing in the morning, you'd see them all come out of their cells, the fellas with these little plastic containers they put peanut butter in to trap cockroaches during the night. And they would empty all of the dead ones into the trash can under the stairs. But it didn't matter how many we killed, it was like they owned the building.